Hey guys! Welcome back to Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 3. Last time I talked all over it, so let's take a listen here. I absolutely love this boss theme. I don't really even know why. It just it gets me so jazzed up to actually be in combat in this game. Anyway. And enough dicking around, let's uh, continue on with our story. Last time, we faced a boss after trying to collect some data and more Gnosis, many of them from episode one. Run! Don't stand there. Shion, we're getting out of here. Reallian, you with me. Transfer EX! Yeah, that's probably a good idea. You should remember that by now. Sorry, didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I don't waste brain power on <laughs> trivial things. Doctus is a lot of fun. Uh, this is gonna be a little bumpy. And on. I love the choice in voice actors. Wait, what? Shion? And not really what you should be doing when you're running for your lives, but still funny. <laughs> Wait a minute, I've seen that guy before. Not in this game. Not in episode two. Don't shoot. Not in episode one. He's from Xeno Gears. Miyuki, hurry up, disconnect now. Wait, what? D d disconnect, what? Hello? Knock, knock. Anybody home? It was all a dive, wasn't it? And this alone is the reason why I didn't change <laughs> her costume for the battle last time. This is part of a cutscene, so it would have played anyway. But yeah, they decided to go, oh, huge ass shot right in your face. <laughs> that one was a little too close for comfort. This is Xion's swimsuit for the game, and you will gain access to this later on for anyone who wants to sit there and look at her in her swimsuit. Are you alright, Xion? Whoa, you look pretty sexy. Miyuki, you're starting to sound like a dirty old man. There's more than enough of those in this game. We don't need another one. But, well, uh, we yeah. We completed our mission. <laughs> Although someone made it more complicated than it should have been. Oh, come on, Xion. I promise it won't happen again. Anyway, how's the data? Don't tell me we lost it in the end. It's fine. The backup completed with 0 .002 nanoseconds to spare. Good. Uh, oh, good! Not bad. Former chief of Vector's first division. You Former and your brother chief. are both good. Mm -hmm. The translation method was sloppy and a bit lagging, but thanks to you, we made it. I'm going to start analyzing the backed up data. I'll let you know if I find anything, along with that other thing you asked. Thanks. Start the data transfer, Realian. It's Kanan. You seem to have a defect in your memory. Errare <laughs> humanum est. If you remember from the database, to err is human. Um, uh, Xion? You weren't mad, are you? No. Everything turned out all right. I don't make a habit of fussing over details. Oh, you did earlier good. on, but okay. No, it's not good. I'm sending you text on basic structure later, and I want you to answer them. Oh, again? Your method is unable to adapt to the language because you skip the basics during assembly. Yes, ma'am. Xion, is what we are doing really okay? You're asking me now? You're the one who demanded we let you help. I mean, well, what we're doing is a crime. Yes, but that was before the Gnosis terrorism. We know that the Gnosis phenomenon is symbiotically linked to the UMN. So the UMN, as it stands now, is dangerous. Now, you may notice Miyuki's clothes there. She still works for Vector, even though she's breaking in. Shion, at least, doesn't work there anymore. Miyuki, that's, that's not a good thing. You're going to get in trouble for that one. 
Just like Doc Two said, Gnosis may not have been called by Professor Mizrahi and the Utic organization or even the immigrant fleet, really? but rather Vector, the constructor of the UMN. If that's true, there may be an ulterior motive in Cosmos's development as well. Is that why you're wow. having Skientia investigate the Milshin conflict? Because your father might have been involved? I don't know for certain, but I think someone has to do something, and I don't want Cosmos to suffer. Xion, you still can't forget about her? <sighs> you quit the company without any hesitation, so I thought you'd be over it by now. It takes a lot of courage to renounce everything you've worked for. Anyway, if there's any developments over here, I'll let you know. Right. But be careful. You're in more danger than the rest of us since you are where you are. Oh, Xion, stop trying to scare me. Yeah, the autoplay feature for some of this dialogue does make a lot of it go by a little too Never, fast at times. Still... Yeah, if you recall the uh, outline that she saw... I think we saw an outline of Nephilim as well, but what just happened there? That's happening a lot lately. Wait, I wonder what? if I'm just worn out. Oh, I'm sure. You're probably fine. Now we get to run around with Xion in her uh, swimsuit. Yay! She's even got shoes on. You see that? She's got shoes on. Why does she have shoes on? I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, we got a database update. Let's take a look. Before, we had like, what, 9%? 33. 33%. And shortly, in a very short amount of time, we will have even more than that. As you can see, we're on a beach. So, our best thing, blow up coconuts and coconut trees. To get money! Yeah, there's a few of these we can blow up and get some stuff around here. Uh, not too much, but uh, there's an allies ball that's kind of useless. That first tree that we saw right next to the road there, we uh, don't need to do anything with. Uh, is there one more around here? Ah, there it is. I don't think you get, lose anything if they fall on your head or anything. This is a point. Let's run over that. As you can see, this area looks awesome. I don't know about you, but I love how they've animated this whole area. The sky looks real. The mountainside looks pretty damn good. Considering this is a PS2 title, this is very impressive. Now, it's kind of hard sometimes to get climbing up here. You have to be right on the tip. But if you are, you get free treasure. Decoder 8 to go with the segment address 8 that we were able to access in the last area. Uh, we can't do anything with this big pool of emptiness. Uh, we can blow up the other thing over there, this one, but it has no items. And if we climb up over here, we can go to the very awesome lookout. Lens flares included, as well as dolphins. Eventually. There they are. There's no music here, but the ambience, the dolphins, the beach, everything. It's just awesome. I want to explore more of this island. We've explored already like 85% of this island. Unfortunately, we don't get to explore much more. If you want to explore a tropical island like this, you kind of have to play other games, unfortunately. But that's not a big deal. If we go over here, we have a door with a D on it. Can't do anything about that yet. We have to come back here at some point in order to get access to that. But anyway, that's pretty cool. I really like this island. Wish there's more. Like, there's little doodads. Like, there's little fish in the water. Um, I think there's crabs up on the beach. You can't go over there any further than the uh, water discoloration over there. I think the crabs are... A crab over here somewhere. There are crabs on the beach sometimes. There's one. Hello. You can't squish it, and I don't think it bites you, so... Oh, well. Anyway. The area that we came out of was right here. And if we head straight down here and hang a left, we go pretty much the same direction, just the lower path. And as you can see, 
Shion has a beach paradise for herself. Where did that disappear to? I don't want to know. Um, <laughs> and there we go. Wonder who's sending you mail. Let's go over here first. There's nothing over here. But I still want to spend all day over here. Maybe I need to make more money because I really want to go on vacation to a place like this. This just looks awesome. Looks like so much fun to be here. And in the database entry on this island, apparently another larger island is being promoted uh, in the same area as this great vacation hotspot. And so nobody comes here anymore, even though they used to all come here because it was such a great location. But nobody comes here anymore. Shion has this island to herself. Uh, let's see. Food goes missing. Maybe there's a wild monkey or some other animal around. This is true. There are clothes. Regular clothes. We cannot put them on. Uh, so why don't you clean up then? Uh, can I talk to any of this other stuff? No, but I can blow up this. And get some more stuff. And you get to see kind of through the grotto there, which is pretty damn cool. That is the right term for that, isn't it? I don't know. My brain don't work. Uh, I don't think you can backtrack around here and get access to that other tree, but... Is that warmth? Or is that just reflection of light? It's not a hot spring, is it? It would make this even better. Anyway, new feature to this game, kind of like uh, Final Fantasy IX. A little icon will appear and tell you to press a button. Incoming mail. Open the mail. Well, even though I'd much rather just sit here and do absolutely nothing all day on this beach, uh, I guess we could talk to Alan. Uh, I guess it's been a while, Chief. I'm going to take auto mode um, off. Because actually, this is pretty difficult to tell you, but... Because of the way uh, Alan talks, it's almost better to have a little bit of a gap between his lines, and auto mode goes by a little too At fast. At a staff meeting a few days ago, they officially decided to cancel First Division's Cosmos Development Project. Damn. Actually, it's being transferred to the military, so the project itself isn't going away. But the military is going to oversee the development of a new model. A new model? So the Cosmos unit development will come to a close at the end of this month. Seriously? The kick-ass character. And it, it's not good enough for you. Gashi and I have the misfortune of being transferred to the military along with it. The decision was sudden, so we're all scrambling to organize the data we've accumulated. Though... All of us are pretty down since you've left. No doubt, six months ago. So, now I'm on 5th Jerusalem, where the project is being transferred to. Would you like to come and visit us? Everyone misses you. I'm sure even Cosmos. I'm sure she well, does. she's antisocial as usual, okay. so... You may not have noticed that, thinks, but, but the screen just got dark. Too. Sorry to talk over that, but the screen just got dark there. You kind of noticed that. That was the thing that I was trying to mention before that I was trying to avoid by changing the graphical settings. And I'll show you a better example of it later. But, uh... I'll await your answer. Anyway. I hope to see you soon, Chief. Or Flower of First Division. You're getting kind of creepy there, Alan. Not just sad, but creepy. Well, he certainly learned how to talk smoothly. Do you think that's going to last very long? No. I can't believe it's been six months already. And there she's Jeez. still in her Shion or Calm her uh, Vector Please uniform. Tell me why. Weren't you listening to what I just said? I was listening. I, I heard what you said. But what do you mean you're quitting? Upper management has yet to make a decision. I can't just stay on as chief like nothing happened after causing an incident like that. You mean the Gnosis terrorism, right? It was that grimoire guy who caused it. There's no reason for you to take responsibility for it. You haven't been accused of anything yet. You don't have to resign. 
This is actually true, and the database it will tell you. sealed and placed under observation, and I'm responsible for it. She had the it option to stay on. It may be irresponsible to leave in the middle of development, but I can't stay at Vector. She's only being sealed temporarily, and... Wait, Chief! Alan, please take care of Cosmos, and everyone. Please, give it a second thought. I'm sorry. Chief. Yeah, that feature of the dialogue either being on auto mode or not auto mode a female form? is a huge downgrade from what they did in episode one and episode two. It's rather unfortunate. It's kind of annoying because it doesn't matter how you put it on, whether auto or pressing the button yourself, the timing of the dialogue just always sounds really off. It'd be nicer if they did, you know, normal cutscenes like they did in the previous games, but from what I remember, they were running low on budget. This game or this series of games was supposed to be five or six or seven games long, and it got cut to three. Many of the plot points are unfinished, at least what they started on. However, they tie up a lot of what they attempt to. Like, if they got points for tying up loose ends better than most games do that run out of budget, they did it better than Xenogears did it. And they've done it better than most of the other games that go, oh, by the way, DLC six months later. That's not a good idea either. Yes. Since ancient times, women always healed people's hearts and granted them hope. But there have been a lot of men who were healers, too. Historical records have always been compiled from a male point of view. True. And besides, men are creatures capable of nothing but destruction and conquest. Not quite true, but mostly true. It's important true. to choose a female form when it's going to be a creator or protector. <laughs> I think I he's just something a perv. strange. He just wants to look no, at a female form. funny to see you with a gentle expression while you lecture with such intensity. <laughs> really? Why did you decide to make Cosmos, Kevin? Is it to protect humanity? Well, it's true that Gnosis are a grave threat to mankind's existence. So wanting to protect people from that threat is part of it. Part of it? But more than that, there's something much stronger inside me. Stronger? Everything exists for a reason. If the Gnosis represents a truth we haven't known before, then I want to know what that is. What could you the be truth talking about? about? Gnosis. I think that may actually be the shortcut to saving this universe. From I know you the Gnosis? It. Not sure what you're going after you'll here, buddy. You'll build cosmos, and you'll find that meaning. So, they've cancelled the project. After a it's long time. Kevin would be sad. Everything is unfinished. I'm sure even Cosmos won't be satisfied. I wouldn't expect she would be. <sighs> no, I'm the one who's not satisfied. No doubt, you didn't get to finish your project. I things unfinished like this. I have to go see Cosmos. That sounds like a good idea. And we have even more cutscenes. There are a lot of them in this game, especially early on. I'm not sure how many there are compared to everything else. You may recognize that. That's the uh, Compass of Order it and Chaos. It part of the S-Line Division data leaked. And it's also the icon that's on the front title of the game when you go new game, continue, whatever. It's her handiwork. It seems she's working very hard. The leak includes information about that program. What program? It doesn't matter. They have little power. Actually, it's all rather endearing. Personally, I'm not a big fan of placing this cutscene here. I think they should have not placed it here and 
maybe put it off a little bit, and there's a reason for it, but I'm not going to get into it right now. They think their cage is the entire world, and they believe they can change it. Let's just watch over them for a while. Like what? But enough of that. How did things go at Renlu Chateau? Is everything ready? Everything is proceeding as planned. Now they haven't the explained what that to Fifth is Jerusalem yet. is complete. We are ready for the Zohar project demonstration. Mm -hmm. Do you intend to leave that location as is? Yes. Ormus needs a sign that they can see with their own eyes. As long as they have their proof, they will continue to sacrifice themselves to protect their idol. For what that is the idol? source of their hope. There isn't much time left for her as well. Contact with Cosmos has taken its toll on her. You must succeed this time. I understand. I will tend to her myself. Now, it only makes sense that you're talking about one person at this point. She emits good wavelength, just as you said. Thank you. But I won't tell you what that save is in case you haven't uh, figured it out yet. Um, save. Yeah, that's probably a good idea at this point. Uh, they'll show you these little uh, pinups of some of the characters with uh, height and weight. I'm not sure why, but uh, the animation's nice, so sure, why not? Anyway, that's pretty much all the time we have for today. Next time, we will continue through some more cutscenes, and eventually we will gain control of Xion, wherever her next destination is. That's all for this one, and I'll see you guys next time.